Hello, and welcome once again to Know Before You Go, a program of the Dominican Central Province of St. Albert the Great that allows us to take a look ahead at the upcoming weekend's readings. I am Father Jim Marchanda, Provincial of the Chicago Dominicans, and I am happy to be with you once again as we approach either the seventh Sunday of Easter or the Feast of the Ascension of the Lord. A handful of dioceses in the United States celebrated the Ascension this past Thursday. So they are celebrating the seventh Sunday of Easter for this coming weekend. For them, the readings are from the Acts of the Apostles, from the first letter of Peter, and from the Gospel of John. In the Acts of the Apostles, the story is post-Ascension, and it simply gives a description, a story of the disciples and the women and the Mary, the mother of Jesus, returning to the upper room where they just stayed together in prayer and in glory to God. The second reading from the first letter of Peter encourages us, even in the, in the confusion of those kinds of times, to bear up under our sufferings, to rejoice even when we have to suffer. The gospel for the seventh Sunday of Easter is what I find so fascinating. Of course, it is from before the ascension. It is post the Last Supper. And it is Jesus praying what is called the priestly prayer of Christ. Before his own death, Jesus prays for his disciples. I'm always struck by that, by the priestly prayer. That following the Last Supper, thinking about his ensuing death, that his focus was not on himself. His focus remained on them and on the mission and on the kingdom. I have preached that so many times that it is not about me. It is not about me. And Jesus is the example of that like we've never seen before. Before his own death, he was not consumed with worry about himself. Instead, his prayer was still for his disciples for the mission, and for the kingdom of God. What a tremendous lesson that is for us in these days of the pandemic. Now, for those of us who will be using the readings from Ascension on this coming Sunday, once again, they too are very, very rich and very full of meaning and teaching. The first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles and is the actual account of the Ascension. The second reading from Paul's letter to the Ephesians and the gospel is this time from St. Matthew and is the commission of Jesus from just before the ascension. It is one of the appearances of Jesus to the men in Galilee on the mountain. They saw Jesus. They worshiped him once ago again, even though the gospel says they actually continue to doubt and then he gives them the great commission. He says, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. But then at the end of that, he says something so beautiful. He says, and behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. So what we've got in that gospel before his ascension account what we've got in that gospel at the end of Matthew is Jesus commissioning them and the promise that he will ever be with us. We will never be without Jesus. What a tremendous teaching. Then we go to the Acts of the Apostles, the first reading, which gives an account of the appearances and recounts the many wondrous things that the risen Lord had done in their midst. And it even then details a story where the disciples ask him, will the power, will the reign be restored to Jerusalem now? Is this when Israel will be restored to its powder, power? And Jesus says, it is not for you to know the time, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses to the ends of the earth. So the very sort of same thing of uh, the commissioning that we heard about. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. That's also preparing us for Pentecost next week. 
That's also preparing us for receiving the Holy Spirit and the idea that although we might not understand everything now, although we don't have the answers to what is going on, we will receive power. And that power will mysteriously fortify us to remain faithful and to do what we have to do in spreading the kingdom of God. This reading always means a great deal to me personally because I remember 25 years ago when my father died, when I went to Los Angeles and was with him the last three weeks of his life and my mom and my brothers and sisters-in-law and how important those days were. And every day I would go for about an hour walk to just get my head together about all that we were facing as a family. My mother would ask me when I got home, she was so frightened by everything that was happening. She would ask me, Jimmy, are we going to be able to do this? Are we going to be able to handle this? And I said, I, I, I know that we will. And she said, how? I said, I'm not sure of that. I'm not sure how, Mom, but I know we will. And then every day in my walks, the scripture passage that kept coming to me was that you may not understand it now but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes. In all those walks in the days leading up to my dad's death, I wrote a song titled, We Receive Power, and then used it at his funeral liturgy. My friends, one of the greatest things about the Ascension is the commission, is about the time, the moment in which the mission is passed on to each and every one of us. And even though we're not exactly sure how we will fulfill the mission, how we will actually be such critical members in the coming of the kingdom of God, the promise is that you will be, that you will be. Whether you understand it every moment of every day or not, you will be a major player. And when the Holy Spirit comes, you will receive all of the power that you need. What a great hope for us today, whether we're celebrating the seventh Sunday of Easter or whether we're celebrating the Ascension, that we are major players in the coming of the kingdom and we will receive all the power we need from God's Holy Spirit to do what we have to do. God bless you all.